Hey guys, we are live on Facebook and we are live on Instagram because we live every Tuesday at 3. <laughs> We're trying to be live every Tuesday at 3 and we've been for the last couple of weeks. So guys, the Tuesday live session is about asking questions as entrepreneurs. It's about tackling key concepts, um, key things that you struggle with in your entrepreneurial journey as entrepreneurs, as business people, and it's to discuss financial concepts, tools and tips that you can implement in your life to have a better financial future. So on the live session so far, we have Coach TC. Hey TC, how's it going? Uh, Michelle and Natasha. Hi Natasha from Beloved. How's it going guys? Are you having a great week? Andres just tuned in. Guys, tell me, how has your week been? What are you struggling with as entrepreneurs? What do you want to know? Uh, what is up? Uh, Joden, hey, welcome to the live session. Uh, send me, uh, Natasha is saying hello. Uh, TC is saying great and new man. Guys, so today we're going to talk a bit about the entrepreneurial struggle, right? What you go through uh, sometimes as an entrepreneur and sometimes as a normal person person with your finances the dips that you might take the struggles you might go through and what to do to get to the other side okay we're going to talk about that today but if you have any questions guys send it through on the live session and we will answer and discuss it live Angelica Reinhardt Guys, thanks for joining in. Jaden is saying he's smiling. <laughs> cool, guys. So ask your entrepreneurial questions. Uh, TC, Michelle, Natasha, Andres, Jaden, uh, Angelica, and Reinhard. What's up? Well, how's your business going? What is your business? Comment in the comments below. Tell me what your business is doing right now and what you are struggling with and what you want to know. Um, Unicorn procrastinator. Good to see you again on the live session. Tell me what you want to know. What's up with your business? What are you facing this week? What can we discuss and see if the whole entrepreneurial community can push you through that? Comment in the live session below. So, how do you push through tough times? How do you get through the struggle? Because be honest with yourself, if you have never struggled as in finances in your journey, um, then you're one of the few. Like all of us go through financial struggles at some stage. I know when I was growing up, we had a lot of financial struggles. And even now, right? Wrote the book, Millionaire 22, entrepreneur, making big success, you know, creating success. And then as you scale to the next level, it becomes worse, right? It becomes harder to, to uh, uh, succeed. Because when I, was, when I was just starting out, I was buying and selling cars, right? Uh, well, even before that, I was buying and selling uh, little Scooby-Doo's. And then I was buying and selling bikes, you know, bicycles and stuff. And then I was buying and selling laptops and phones. And then I started buying and selling cars. And then, and then I started buying property and selling property. And now we are, and I started with low income housing, like multi lets and stuff. Now we are busy with high, you know, high, what do you call it? High quality, you know, high top, top market properties. And it's so expensive. You, there's so much cost that needs to go in. So sometimes, even when, as you go up in the levels, you still hit some points where you struggle, where you fail, where you struggle with your finances, where you can barely get through the month because all of your finances is invested in this massive project. But you know, that if you can push through this and if you can get to the other side there's so much more waiting for you on this other side have you felt like this in your business where you know you just need to push through this month to push through this tough time if you can get that contract if you can get that deal if you can get that product launch you know that things will be better on the other side so if you have struggled with finances before, if you have struggled as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, if you have had some tough times, send a shop on the live session right now so that I know that I'm on the right track, that I'm speaking to the right people. Guys, send a shop on the live session and we will discuss now how we are going to get through this, how you can, what you can do to get through this situation. So on the live session we have... 
TC, Michelle, Natasha, Andries, Joden, uh, Angelica, Reinhardt, uh, Unicorn Procrastinator, Aljuan. Uh, guys, thanks for joining the live session. Uh, tell me a bit about your business. What are you struggling with? And guys, if you've ever been struggling in your life as an entrepreneur or business owner, send a shop on the live session so that we can solve this together. So, what you need to do in order to get through the tough times is firstly, you need to take a step back. All right. Sometimes when you're in the midst of this and you can't make payroll and you, you, your bank account is super low and people just want stuff from you all the time. They want you to do this and they want you to do that. And people's calling you the whole day and they're sending you emails and everyone wants a piece of you. And you are just trying to get yourself through the month. It might be that you're hysterical, right? Your brain just freaks out. It doesn't know where to take and where to lose. Uh, uh, and in the end of the day, you feel like you can't do anything because you can't start with something because then you're not focusing on that and you need to get through this. And then sometimes you just might lose your mind. And the first step is to take a step back. If you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling the pressure, if you're feeling like you don't know what to do and you're in this tough situation, take a step back. Just step back and say, look, let me look at this from the outside perspective. Where is my expenses going? Where is the money leaking? Where is it coming in? And where should I put my focus in order to get the money in that I need to get through the situation? So by taking a step back and looking at your income, expenses, cash flow, your finances with an open mind, right, in an objective way, you can clearly see where the issue is, right, where the problem is, and you can clearly see where the solution is, or it should be clearer to you. Um, instead of being in the moment and stressing and, you know, not knowing what to do and get, having a lot of anxiety and, and not knowing where to turn. So rather take a step back and look at everything objectively. The second thing you need to do is you need to go back to the drawing board in terms of your goals. Go look at your goals again, right? Whenever I go through a tough time, I immediately, the first thing I do is I change my wallpaper to feature all of my goals because it just reminds you again why you are doing this why you are going through the struggle and what the end destination will be and the fact that this is just temporary if you do that then you will feel so much better because you know like this is just temporary that is where I'm going so go back to the drawing board, look at all of your goals again, make sure you know exactly where you want to be and put a poster up, put a wallpaper up, put a desktop background up so it motivates you again to push through this tough time to just get to the other side, okay? And the third thing you need to do is you need to remove everything that's unnecessary. Guys, we spend so much money on unnecessary things when the money is there and then as soon as the money is not there, what do we want to do? We want to continue living that lifestyle when the money was there. So it's very important, the third thing, if you're going through a tough time with your business, with your personal finances as an entrepreneur, just make sure you cut all the unnecessary things, right? You remove them so that you can just focus on the necessary things and know what you need to spend your money on in this tough time. So cut all of the unnecessary things, right? Just, just pay for the things that you can't survive without. Same with your business. Just pay for the things that your business can't survive without and cut all of the other things. Cut the dinners, cut the nice clothes, cut the gadgets, right? Even sell them if you have to. Um, just to get through a tough time, but cut all of the unnecessaries. And then my final point, guys, my fourth point. This is a long live session, but I'm giving some good value to you guys today to make sure that you can push through the tough times. If you're enjoying this, send a shop on the live session so that I know I'm on the right track. Shop. <laughs> okay, so the final point and the fourth point is something that Tim Ferriss does, right? And it's a state of mind. So what he does is he says, he's imagining the worst, worst, worst case scenario. And if he can be okay during the worst case scenario, then what is he stressing about? That's how he looks at it. So I'm going to give a practical example of my situation, right? 
So I have a business gazoo that's doing well. I have a few properties that's doing well. I have rentals and I have flips. And uh, I would say to myself, worst, worst, worst case scenario. Let's say a hurricane comes in South Africa and it like demolishes all of my properties, right? And let's say, um, I don't know, the, the president makes a mess of, of everything and the economy drops like completely and my business goes bankrupt almost overnight, right? Inflation skyrockets with 100% or something. That's like the worst case scenario. My business and all of my properties are gone, right? What then? Okay, well, then, then I can start selling my car, you know, I can start, you know, staying with friends, I can start doing this, that, this. So there's a lot of other things that I can still do. Okay, now let's say all of that is gone and I have nothing left, right? That's the worst case scenario. What can I still do? Well, I still have my industrial engineering degree, right? So I can maybe go overseas or, or go to one of the companies here in South Africa that's still standing and work as an industrial engineer for a, for a year or a few months until I have enough capital to start my business again, right? Or if I can't get a job as an industrial engineer, I'll have all of the skills that I've learned over time in business and entrepreneurship. I have started with nothing before, created a business from zero rand to something that's turning over 900,000 a year. So I can do that again with the skills that I have and the lessons I've learned. So then just start from nothing again. And I think I would be able to really start with zero again and make a success again. So that's the worst, worst case scenario. And in that worst case scenario, I think I'm going to be fine. Like I'm going to be able to grow a business again. I will be able to use my degree. I will be able to start buying properties again. And eventually I will be back where I am right now. And I want you to do this example with your life. What do you have now? And what happens if the worst case scenario hits? What if everyone gets transported away? All of your friends, family, employees. What if all of your houses uh, you know, is demolished? What if your business fails? What's the worst case scenario? And then ask yourself, would you be okay? Would you be able to get back to where you are right now? Would you be able to use your skills, your experience, whatever you have in your pocket to get back to a situation where you would be okay? Right? And if that is the case, then why are we having so much anxiety, stress that's making us sick when we just go through a little dip, when we just go through a tough time? Why are we worrying so much? So guys, I hope this gives you so much value. A lot of people are saying shop. Uh, guys, if this is giving you value, uh, say, send a shop on the live session. We talked about four things that you can do when you go through tough times as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. And we said the first thing to do is to, is to make sure that, what's the first thing? <laughs> okay, so the second thing is to put your goals on your wall, to go back to the drawing board, to, to look at your goals again. The first thing was to take a step back, right? And look in an objective way to your business, to your finances and see where the problem is and where the solution might be. Second thing, make sure you know your goals again. Make sure you're focused on your goals so it can motivate you to get through the other side. Third thing, cut the unnecessary things from your life and just focus on getting through this. And then the fourth thing is, um, is just make sure you know that in the worst case scenario, you'll be fine. And that just gives you such, I don't know if you guys just experienced this, it gives you such a calm feeling when you know that even if everything is destroyed, I'll still be okay. And that's, in my experience, how I deal with tough times, those four things. So on the live session, we have a great live session today. A lot of people on here, TC, Michelle, Natasha, Andris, Joden, um, Angelica, Reinhardt, a Unicorn Procrastinator, Aljuan, um, Arki, hey Arki, Jason is saying sorry he's late, no problem Jason, good seeing you Jason Yilmans, um, Andres, Dostein, hey there, how's it going? Um, guys, so that's the four things that I would suggest when you go through a tough time. Uh, TC just summarized it for us there, step back, know your goals, cut unnecessary things and know you can be fine during the worst case scenario. That's the way to do it. So Natasha is asking, 
How do small startups penetrate the barriers of entry to contact the right people in national companies? Okay, sometimes there's great ideas, but one can't seem to get into the marketing head of the big companies. Natasha, this is a great question. If the rest of you guys also have any business questions, entrepreneurial questions, send them through in the comment section right now and we'll answer them on this live session. So Natasha, how I found um, getting into the higher higher areas and the higher markets is by starting with the smaller ones right and if you want to jump into that national company you want to do business for the national company from day one and you want to play in the big league with the big money you know then and you're not experienced you don't have the experience of doing it before then you'll burn your fingers because when you play in the big leagues they are very 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 perfectionistic about things because they pay a lot of money for them so if you try any big corporate we do branding uh, logo and um, um, branding business cards email signatures website development social media management so one of the things we need to do a lot is work with people's logos and whenever we work with a big corporate logo they are so specific there's only one way that you can use this logo the kerning has to be absolutely perfect. The font needs to be absolutely perfect. The spacing between the little icon and the font, need, there's a standard. They have like this thick uh, CI manual just on the logo, how you are able to use the logo or not. When you deal with smaller companies, they're super lenient. Like you can use the logo like this or that, they don't really care. So what I, the point that I'm trying to bring across is if you play in the big leagues, you need to have experience, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing and you need to have that backing, right? So I would say start in the small leagues, build as much experience as you can, build as much clients as you can so you have that experience. And now what you can do, the second step is to use that, to say, look, for example, Gazaru, we have 139 clients, right? That's, that's a lot of clients. That's a lot of people we've served. That's a lot of companies we've helped. That's a lot of experience. So when we go up to a big company, like some of our bigger clients, we tell them, look, we've done this 139 times. We know what we're doing and we can ask this price because we've proved ourselves over and over again. If you only have one client and you want to walk into a big corporate office, they're gonna ask you, what have you done? What have you done before? And let me see some of your work. So uh, if you build a small market first, build a small clients, you have that portfolio, have that backing. And then the third thing is normally how it's worked for me, naturally we moved into the bigger clients as we helped the smaller clients. When they were happy, they would spread the word. Our marketing started to increase. We got better brand awareness. And along the way, some of the bigger companies saw us naturally it was a natural growth into there and they said look you helped my brother with his little small business um and, and he was amazed by your work i actually have a big corporate company maybe you can help us as well so that's something that worked for us natasha if that answers your question send us up on the live session then i know that it's been answered cool guys so today we talked a bit about what you can do to push through tough times and if you're just joining the live session right now you can always view it uh, at the top of my stories or on facebook it saves it there guys thank you so much for joining the session tc michelle natasha andris joden angelica reinhardt a unicorn procrastinator um Aljuan, and we have Arki, Jason Yeomans, Andres, Dostein, uh, Nicole, hi Nicole, Stian, hi Stian. Guys, thank you so much for joining this live session. I hope you took a lot of value from this and that it will help you to push through the tough times in your life, in your entrepreneurial journey. And um, if you have some tough times, don't, don't make yourself scarce. Uh, direct message me on Instagram, Facebook. Tell me what's up. I always reply everyone that messages me after 12 at night. So when you send a message, just be patient. I'll get to you and then I'll, I'll see if I can help you out. Maybe give some advice. Maybe I went through that in my life and then I can just give you some pointers. And if I don't know, I'll find someone that does or I've 
you know helped a business owner that went through something similar that I can take some experience from so guys send me a direct message if you're going through a tough time and guys I hope this really helps you today that was this week's live session we'll see you again next week Tuesday at 3 for the live session uh, get your entrepreneurial questions ready and then we can answer them live next week Tuesday cool guys have a great entrepreneurial journey and uh, have a great week and make the best of it push through the tough times and create success for yourself So Jaden is smiling, Unicorn is saying yay, he's saying perseverance. Magrit Groenewald says awesome, great info, Angela Fender, thanks a lot of value. Angela, Magrit, thanks so much for joining in on Facebook as well. I normally see the people's comments on Instagram, I don't always see the people on Facebook. Uh, but thanks for joining in and thanks for the good feedback. Unicorn Procrastinator is saying shop, Jaden is saying shop. Andres, Angelica, TC, Dostein, Jason, they're all saying shop. It was a good live session, guys. Stian is saying shop. Cool, guys. See you again next week. Enjoy.